Good morning everyone, it is Road to Glory here again, so with all the intros, everything, let's make it nice and short and sweet and get straight into the episode. Hello everyone, so yes, we're on Road to Glory, episode 12 today, we're going to be covering what we've been doing, we're at 1.6 million, we've been growing and we've been live streaming as well through the week and hopefully we're going to be obviously keeping the, the live streams up. So these so far, the Road to Glory episodes has been a nice little summary for those guys who obviously haven't caught the live streams, but you can check them out if you want and you'll understand where we've been at so far. So we're at um, almost the finishing stage of the Sacred Hall. We are going to be speeding this up today on camera because we've been stacking all these speed ups from all our events as well as doing solo forts. So you guys know we've been doing solo forts on live stream. Really good mechanic if you want to get 100% of the rewards table this is something not new especially if you're a member of my community i've been telling you this since last season before any of these big streamers are starting to make videos in it right so it is a really good strategy it's good to use when you're in passion for rations for example right so in the early game when you're having to kill these forts for this event even though the forts early game aren't as good as they are late game. So if we look around, even just for these level 1s for example, these only give you 20 bucks of 100. So it's not that much XP. And when we look at a level 2 fort, which should be around here up in the north side, um, you will see that it's only 30 bucks or something extra. So it's not even that many more bucks when you're looking in terms of XP. So... And that's what we have been doing though um, on our account. We've been doing these solo forts whenever we've been able to find. Obviously, there's some twos, so we're gonna we'll start doing them still because we've got on camera to do a little bit. So on this road to glory episode, you can see what we how we've been doing things. So when we go in as well, our architecture, as you will now notice has maxed out to where we can so we're at five out of ten really good we need to hit city hall 17 which we're about to do to upgrade this to into 17 to allow us to progress any further as well as to upgrade architecture i'm going to keep it at five out of ten for now and we'll try and move forward to try and unlock scholarship and once scholarships unlocked and we get some more research speed reduction I will then finish architecture off then to get it nice and cheap, nice and quick, and we'll get through all the rest of this tech really fast because we're going to have the most amount of research speed from our tech. And that's what it's all about, guys. You need all the tech and early game as you can. So when we go into season two, it all starts to work together, right? So you're starting to make your own machine. We've got all the bits, so we're just building it right now. So... When we come to the units on the account, we are doing pretty well. We can go through the Legion tab. You can see we've got no more tier 1 on the um, archers still. So the archers are closing down on the 40k match. Really cool. We've only got 12,000 to go on our tier 2s. And then we can start just hardcore training our troop cap and all extra legions until we get our tier 4. So that's going to be really good for us when we hit that stage. As you notice, the longleaf tree ants are growing really quick. And the reason is, again, because at City Hall 16, we needed to upgrade this building. And because we get to upgrade it, we are trading over 800 of the majors. So in the early game, we don't have that many, especially if we are playing archers. As you can tell, we've been focusing on more of the archer when it comes to speed ups. But what we do do once, obviously, all these mages have upgraded because these will upgrade faster because there's more getting upgraded compared to my archers you're gonna be able to then train obviously more mages and catch up to my arch account so in the long term we're not worried we're all good on that front we've got 35 seconds to go so we're at 1.614 million power so let's just see how much of an increase just the City Hall is about to give us on our account. It should hopefully get us past 1.65, I'm hoping, on the account. 
but we're going to see. We can obviously click on the I tab and get the actual number, but it's really more fun for you guys and for myself to see how much more power our City Hall upgrade is going to give us. And the beautiful thing about this, again, as a reminder for all those who may be just tuning in for the first time and not checked out the episodes, this is now unlocking our 4th March. So we have our 4th March. It's also given us a new emoji. That's really cool. So if we want to use this emoji, we could. Um, so we're not going to that at the moment. So that's fine. Let's come out of our area. But now we're at 1.647. So we're almost there. Definitely able to. So if we check on the building now, we need the Rangers retreat up to 17. As well as the wall to 17. So I have a tough decision now. Because the thing is, I do want to train my T3 archers. But the thing is... If we do upgrade this building maybe to 15 first, it's going to give us about 250 extra troops to train. So we could then start training on this and save up a little more, you know, some more speed ups and such to then blast maybe archery 16 and 17 in an episode with all our speed ups we've saved. And then while we're doing that, it's going to be, you know, upgrading towards the wall. So we will do the foundry. We will upgrade the hospital next after the foundry. And then obviously the wall. So we could do something like that. I would love to hear your guys' thoughts. If you want, if you put in the comments the direction you want me to go, let me know. I'll upgrade either, you know, the archery tower or the foundry um, first. But I think archery is going to be better in the long run. Um, one thing we could also do right now if we really wanted to is upgrade our Alliance Center. This is going to give us plus one help, which is really good because it's going to allow us to get those buildings done quicker. So what I'm going to do on camera, so just so we can justify it, we're going to pop one of these mana bundles. We're going to upgrade our Alliance Center first. For us, any sort of reduction in time is so important, right? So if we can get an, an extra help just like that and reduce this timer by, you can see, almost 10 minutes there. It's going to be insane when it scales up on these bigger buildings when we're going to need it, right? We do unlock a new mint. We're not worried about placing this as such. We've already got 222. Two, two. It would be the third one here. It's just an extra little bit of you know um income for the gold but it's going to be only two to 25 you know it's not it's ineligible we don't we don't re really want to worry about it but the best thing what we've now hit is the main quest so let's claim our 10 heads and and some keys it wants us to actually build that mint to get another five gems and a key so we're going to probably do that at the end of the day once this is close down on some time right also a really cool thing we've done on the growth fund if you remember we've hit now city hall 17 we're purely free to play so we get some extra speed ups here and then now at 19 we're gonna get eight hours speed ups a teleport and then when we do hit that beautiful city hall 21 we're gonna get some three hour speed ups and two gold keys so that's something to work towards um for our account which is really good for us but what we can do now because we've got 1700 gems and you guys know what i'm like we're gonna pop straight away so we don't get tempted and we don't miss press we're gonna dump 1500 gems straight in at the moment if you guys are wondering at the moment there is not an event in game that requires you to spend gems so that's why we can spend gems whenever we want. And the faster we can, to be honest, get to this goal, the better. Because as soon as we hit VIP 8, guys, we're going to be stacking and stacking and saving every gem we earn until we find a wheel we want to hit. And we're going to hit it hard, right? Especially on camera. So that's what we're going to be doing for the inevitable future. We're at three gold keys, six silver. We're still just doing the silver stuff, as you can see on screen. And one thing what we did do, which I'll showcase for you guys right now, is we did hit four stars on the bomb flinger. Nice and easy to do. We hit a load of blue artifacts from the dark chest, which we're going to be doing very soon. 
Um, so let me just, before we forget, it's already been kicked, which is great. So you can see my rally here is being soloed. So we don't have to worry about that. But we are going to be doing some superior chests later, which is just located here. So once we've burnt some CP and we've done our event for the day, which is the passion for rations, we're all going to meet up here. And this is a really good way, guys, where you can get your dust. This is how I've been leveling up all my artifacts. I've been leveling them up for do it, saving up five keys and then blasting five superior chest in a row hoping to get that lucy's horn you can see i've been a little bit relaxed on it too so this is just showcasing if you do do some of those superior chests and then maybe kill you know if you kill five patrols and then we kill one of the artifact guys so this lizard here and then kill another five patrols and then kill a lizard if you do it in some sort of routine like that all of these are gonna level right so it's nice and easy we're gonna, we've got even look, a bunch of XP to use on camera. This is my main focus right now is this artifact. The reason is we are not in any wars, we're not fighting, and we're trying to do as much PvE damage as possible. And out of all my artifacts, I've been the luckiest and it's level three in its skill. So as soon as I hit that level four, five, the thing is I'm gonna be using my bomb flinger a lot in the game. I'm going to be using this in every single raid in the game, especially in Dragon Trials as well as an artifact, until we get our Shadow Blades. But even then, when I get Shadow Blades, this Bomb Flinger does more damage in a Behemoth raid because my Shadow Blades will only be level 1 and it'll only be doing 2000 damage, which is not great. So we're just seeing quickly, zipping over, showcasing. We can solo raid. Nice. Nice and easy for a free to play, so you should be doing that. And obviously, you're wondering why we do this. The, the reports give you 100% of the rewards, guys. So you can see here, you get 30 times of 100 bucks, 28 resources, which is the more important part. And we get the full five times on the speed ups. And then we even got five treaties as well. So even down here, we got a gold key. It's just the fact that we get the full 100% rewards, guys, and the amount of dust you accumulate over time as well. It's really good. So I would always, always advise soloing a fort when you're in the early game if you have one of these events online and it requires you to kill them. Otherwise, we should still be killing these patrols until our either level three or four forts come out and when they come out i'll be able to update you guys or we should be using our cp to rally our elenas but as you will see we have ran out we did all of our elenas or elenas that was a full i believe 28 pops and we killed 28 plus Obviously, through the alliance chest, people do them every day. You might get more. And we already have a 5311 Elena, and she is late to the party. But we've been able to get her that leveled so quickly. Four stars, because we know as a free to play player, we will be using Elena a lot in this game. So I would advise you guys to try and get her unlocked. Get that first skill maxed out first because you're going to be able to do it really easily because she is the Loha, similar from, you know, Rise of Kingdoms. But she's infinitely better. She does some insane stats. She makes you really tanky in the game, like you can see. And she does a little bit of damage, nothing too crazy. But it's the fact that she makes you super tanky and it's really good for a lot of things in the future that we'll be able to cover in the game. So that has been it, guys. That is episode 12 of the Road to Glory series. We've done a lot today. I have also recorded things to do with, at the end, the Thunder Rock. We have killed it, so don't you worry. That's how we've been able to get a load of gems too, because this will give us 500 when we do kill it for the first time. We hit rank 8, and don't you worry, that footage has been recorded. Like I said, it will be on episode 13, or a full guide for the Thunder Rock. I'm debating what to do first, so 
Until the next guys though, I hope you enjoyed the video. Smash a like, comment and subscribe to the free to play series here. Hit the notification bell for all of my content that I put out, live streams, videos as well. If you want to, I'm considering doing some new members only videos and these member only videos might be something in regards to again talent builds but instead of being how I do my normal full builds it's going to be maybe a 20 minute video explaining an entire tree going down all the different points as the pros and cons for a singular march so it'd be more of like a really advanced lesson in talent builds so if you guys may be interested in that pop a comment and let me know but that would be a member only thing you could do and if you're wondering what i'm talking about check out the join button you don't have to um obviously join but our join section has unlocked because we are a youtube partner as well now so it's just another way you guys can support the channel so it's up to you if you want to do it but hitting the subscribe button is more important to me for you guys especially everyone who is free to play i want no one to obviously spend a dime um and i just want to help you guys get better at the game right so with all that said i hope you enjoyed the final episode of i say the final episode the final the final part of the episode which is episode 12 of Road to Glory. And until the next one, stay safe, stay sneaky, and peace out, guys.